Do you want to know how to use Zotero in Google Docs? You came to the right place. Hey, everyone. Welcome back to BioInfo Tips. Today, I'm going to show you how to use Zotero in Google Docs. This will make citing sources and creating bibliographies a breeze without ever leaving your browser. First, you'll need Zotero installed on your computer. Head to zotero.org download and install the desktop application. Then, get the Zotero connector for your browser Chrome, Firefox, or Safari, so you can capture references directly from web pages. Once the Zotero connector is installed, open Google Docs. You should see a Zotero menu or an icon appear in your Google Docs interface. If you don't see it right away, refresh the page or reopen your browser. Before inserting citations into Google Docs, you'll need references in your Zotero library. Collect them by clicking the Zotero Connector button when viewing an article or database entry. This will import the metadata directly into your Zotero desktop app. Now, in your Google Docs file, place your cursor where you'd like a citation to appear. Click on Zotero in the menu bar, then select Add Slash Edit Citation. Choose the citation style you need, and in the Zotero pop-up, type in the author, title, or keyword of the reference you want to cite. Hit Enter, and your citation will appear. Once you've inserted all your citations, it's time to generate a bibliography. Place your cursor where you want the reference list, then select Add Slash Edit Bibliography. Zotero automatically compiles every source you've cited and formats it in the style you chose. If your citations aren't formatting correctly, double-check your citation style in Zotero. You can also update your references in Zotero to make sure all the metadata is accurate. Just refresh the Google Docs page to apply changes. And that's how you use Zotero in Google Docs to streamline your research writing. If you found this tutorial helpful, give the video a thumbs up, share it, and subscribe to BioInfo Tips for more easy to follow tutorials. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.